All right, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this by doing a flow test calibration. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't know if it's going to work on every single printer like this, but I'm sure you could figure a way with this general information. So I have Pet Gene there now in the head, in this A1. So basically, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to the control menu. Go to like 240. It's going to warm up. Okay, so basically I'm going to measure this filament coming out of the end of this head at 120. I'm going to cut it. You could either, you could you could do the same thing with uh you know a sharpie or something if you had, you know, a color you can mark on. So I'm going to go to 120. Go there. Exactly at 120. Cut it. So this has been cut now. We're going to go back to the control panel. And I know from talking to ChatGPT, your machine might be different that each one of these little bumps right here is 10, 10 millimeters. So I want to go to 100 millimeters, leave 20 left over. That's why I left, made it 120, just so I've got something to measure to. So I'm going to hit this 10 times. All right, see how it's sucked down? So now I'm going to measure this out, and it looks like my tail is 25.5. So 120 minus 25.5 leaves me at 94.5, right? So then we're going to go into the slicer, go to where your filament's at, edit, this flow ratio number. So we need to change that to, it's already said at that 0.945, and then your flow will be correct to that machine, to that filament. That works for mine. I don't know if it's going to work for your machine. I'm sure you can figure a way, like, by... You just got to figure out what those bumps take it down each time when, you, when you're doing that calibration, then you just figure it out from there. Good luck.